Hello once again and welcome back to Persona 5. So, we're coming off our first day where we have complete control, isn't that right? And, uh... Sorry, it's different recording day for me, so I've kind of forgotten what we were up to. Um, I believe... So I have, a, I have the option of doing a little nighttime activity right now. But obviously, since I can't leave Flip 1, I don't have that many options. So I think my best bet's probably gonna be just clean out the room. Do I feel like cleaning up? Yeah, let's clean it up. Do I get to do anything else? This plant is still alive. We can decorate with it. Nice. All right, even a dreary room can be brightened up with a little green foliage. Let's take good care of this plant so it won't dry up and wither away. Okay. This is a good opportunity. The bookshelves over there are looking a bit messy. Let's clean everything up while we're at it. That's incredible. Politics, law, and philosophy. These all sound like some pretty difficult books. Take one at least. A little bit of effort will go a long way. We got social thought. Is, is that a new book? I'm not sure. Take this too. Should be an easy read, right? Uh, Yoncho Walker. Absolutely worthless. Don't ever read that. I believe what it does is it like unlocks your fast travel options within Young and Jaya. But there's no reason to waste time reading the book because you can just do that menu. So don't ever do it. I wonder why this one is mixed in with all of these difficult books. Well, I suppose it doesn't matter. Yeah. The room feels a little more comfortable now. And just as I had predicted, we found a treasure, but... It's a CRT TV. You can't watch any broadcast without a tuner. Huh. It'd be a waste to just let it sit here, though. Is there a place where we can get home appliances for cheap? Anyway, good work. Might as well get some sleep while we can. Ah, I figured that would pass time. That's fine. You know, I don't remember getting the TV from doing that activity. I thought you had to buy it in original Persona 5. I know I bought the DVD player. Hello. Hello, party member. Anyway, I thought I'd, I'd get a girlfriend once I was in high school, but I'm not having any luck at this all. Sucks. Is there something wrong with me? Maybe self-improvement is the answer. Try reading some books. <laughs> You'll get more than just some knowledge out of them, and it'll make you better in conversation. It'll be more desirable if you're more intelligent. It'll take hard work though, won't happen overnight. Yeah, but books make me sleepy. Guess I can give it a go though, if it'll help make me more popular with the ladies. Uh, is the library where you go to borrow books? Nah. Nah, that's, that's not what a library is for. Nice. Reading books is an important way to expand your mind. I don't like reading though. Why should I do that? No, books are great. We already have two of them, three of them. Oh. I totally agree. You can apparently read for free at the school library, so you should try and take advantage of that. I think there's also a bookstore over on Central Street. See, I'm a day ahead of the game. We already did all that stuff yesterday. Let's get started. <laughs> I forgot about this guy. Hi there, everyone. I'm Mr. Hiruta, your biology teacher. You must all be shocked by what happened with Suzui-san. It was a shock to me, too. Although I can relate to how she felt. Her eyes were devoid of life as they looked upon this sad, hopeless world. Well, I suppose everyone views the world differently. Let's have a test. Try to answer this. You there. Take a look at this. Uh-oh. This one seems kind of familiar. Between A and B, which line seems longer? I think there is a correct answer. I mean, I don't think it's the third one. I'm gonna go with A. Hmm. I was wrong about you. Ah, shoot. I guess you can't see the truth. They're actually... Well, I'm very, very stupid. This is an optical illusion. Some people see it correctly, and some do not. Actually, looking at it, I thought they were the same, but I was like, no, that's the trick answer. One of them has to be longer. Well, I'm dumb. Isn't it strange that they view the same image differently? Humans don't see the world as it is. We simply process visual information with our brain. I knew he wouldn't get it right. Duh, I mean, he's... Crap, the teacher's looking at us. He's a criminal, therefore he's stupid. 
How can you see the world? How you see the world is nothing more than a trick of the mind. It is all mere cognition. There is no proof that the world each of us sees is the same. I see. How you see the world depends on your brain's cognition, huh? Optical illusions in the metaverse might be more similar than you think. Cognition and my Persona 5. It's more likely than you think. Who's ringing me? Hey, where are you at right now? Uh, I'm still in the classroom. I'm still at school too. I'm by the staircase outside your classroom. Think we should head into the palace today? I have not decided. Hey, I thought of something the other day when we were running around the palace. Maybe it's because I haven't been moving around as much lately, but I feel like I'm getting weak. We're probably going to run into some pretty tough shadows sometime. We should try to get stronger too. It's sunny outside, perfect for training. So, you want to go get your blood pumping? Wow! Seems like even Ryuji has a lot on his mind. It's true that training your body will let you be able to move when it counts. Confidant invitations. Confidants will send invitations to spend more time with them via IM. Some messages will be important. You can accept the invitation by responding to the message, but there is no need to reply immediately. Text messages that have not been responded to will have hold by the message. Wait too long to respond and the invitation will expire. Not every IM needs a reply. Accept the invitations from people you're interested in. Okay. He went to the trouble of inviting you, so why not listen to what he has to say? I also have a message from On, even though she's right in front of me and could have just turned around. Want to go to the palace today? I'll leave it to you to get everyone once you've decided when to meet up. Mm, well, what do you want to do? Should we head into the palace? Hell no. So Ryuji's message ends up actually not being really? about the palace, but about uh, hanging out with Confidant. Oh, you see, On was in the loading screen that time. Maybe it's not as rare in Persona 5 Royal for them to do that with Ryuji and On as it was in the original. So ignoring Ryuji for now, uh, my guess is, you know, I've never really mm -hmm. tested it. Oh, look at that. And notice how our creepy suit in here mm -hmm. is, uh, her little grumble text up there is like faded because I assume that means I read it yesterday so it doesn't really change. That's actually what I was about to bring up is I've never really tested to see like does NPC dialogue advance day to day in Persona 5? I don't think it does. That doesn't sound like a very Atlas thing to do. Like I imagine these sort of conversations that happen around the school and whatnot would change not daily. Oh my god he roams around? I'm surprised you have the nerve to face me, Amamiya. Mia. He's not even looking at me. All you can do is wait until you get expelled anyway. Are you scheming something? Answer me. Oh, so this is what I ran into him yesterday and he said this. Did he always roam around the school like this? Maybe he did and, you know, because I fast traveled all the time in vanilla B5. I just never saw it. What a dick. But yeah, what I was saying is I would assume that the like NPC dialogue advances with story beats. So until I do something regarding the palace, mm -hmm. all this stuff is going to remain the same. Oh. And as you can see, the SP items did not replenish. So it is still every week. I want to go mm -hmm. into map and let's go to a uh, rail map and head over to Shibuya. Let's go to... Uh, Central Street. So, uh, my memory is really bad. Now that we've cleaned the room and we have uh, our plant available to us, that plant is actually really useful. And I missed it the first time we came here. Welcome. But I think I'm looking for this. A cheap plant nutrient for those who want basic care for their plants. I think. I think that's what I want to buy, but there's one other place I want to check. And it's... Let's go into... The underground walkway. I want to say there's a location somewhere around here that we haven't been yet. Isn't there an underground mall that you can get to? It's here? This is where we forgot to go last time. My bad. I 
kind of realized, like, wait a minute, wasn't there somewhere in Shibuya that I just straight up didn't go? So we got the Welcome. sports shop here. A uh, magnetic necklace. A uh, fast heal as a skill. Is that... I don't know what that does, actually. Sports sunglasses, wrist weights, consumables. How about, uh, what do we got here? A little supermarket? What do you guys got? Welcome! Truffles, Gestea, and Uji Matcha Flan. They really give you a lot of gift options in Persona 5. I kind of vaguely remember that being the case, but again, it's actually really not necessary. So that goes back to the underground walkway, but that's a different way I, than I came, isn't it? All right, what do you sell? Um, uh, no, you're just a souvenir shop, but you sell stuff. What do you sell? What would you like? More gifts. I believe Have you, you sell high-end accessories, of course. Oh my god, that silver bangle is 78,000 yen. Mm. Those are decent accessories, but way too expensive for the start of the game. Here we go. This is the flower shop. Like? This is also the one that you can apply to work at. A pricey nutrient for those who have who want good care for their plants. So I believe, yeah, these are more expensive than the ones over on Central Street. So they're a steeper investment, but more helpful in the long run. Hey! And you guys also sell accessories. Oh my god, Ring of Vitality. 60,000. And body chop. What would you like? Recover oil. You get some more gifts. Looking at, uh, yeah, on the map, you see that the icon for this place. I guess it's lipstick. That's what it is, right? It looks like a bullet. All right, it's like every time, wrong one. Let's go into uh, back. Not Station Square, darn it. Actually, want to go to Central Street. Just compare prices one more time. Right, I have the red button. Should be using that. Take your time. So yeah, uh, just 500. So yeah, let's get the stuff at the flower shop then. Damn it, every time, wrong thing. Underground Mall. you like I don't know how many of these I need unfortunately this used to be like a thing I had down to an exact number of like these are the exact number ones you need to buy before they get replaced with better ones but off the top of my head I don't know what that number is I'm gonna buy five of them five is that too many is it not enough I don't know like, Yen's really tight in Persona 5 for max runs, so I don't want to waste any of it. I will resist the urge to look up what the number used to be. And my own guide that I wrote for Persona 5, I don't remember. I don't remember what it is. Okay. So, let's see here. Every fucking time. I wish you could remap controls in this game, but you cannot. Alright, so Tay is not available, but Ryuji is. Now there is one slight... Uh, oh, look, he says a little thing in the bottom right. I think this could improve my knowledge. Actually, let me open the touchpad and go into status. So yeah, you see that uh, store job has been added. Wait, can I not cycle between them? Oh no, is it only for the location you're currently at? Interesting. So it's not showing the, uh, the library. That's a little bit of a bummer. You would think it would show like all the available ones throughout the city and not just one. Oh, guy with guitar, young rocker. We're living in dark times between the train crash and the other strange accidents. 
That's why I poured my soul into this song. To help restore our hope, I give you Metropolitan Fire. As we fall deeper into darkness, we gotta light a fire for the world. Fire say hello to the modern city. Fire say goodbye to the countryside. Light a fire in your hearts now. Let this music spark the flame. Ow! Thanks, baby. Could you feel the passion of my soul? Uh, that was some epic rock. Yeah, I rock. It's all finally happening for me. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the school. Uh, let's go see uh, Ryuji. I think the classroom's the quickest way to get there. So the problem with hanging out with Ryuji right now is, of course, I assume you know, you played played a persona or two, that the way to hang out with confidants from rank after rank one, first rank doesn't matter, but rank two onwards, when you hang out with your confidants slash social links in previous games, you want to have the same uh, arcana as they are on you. You want to have a persona of the same arcana. It doesn't have to be the one equipped, but you, you really want to have that on you. So that means when I hang out with Ryuji, I want to have a persona of the Chariot Arcana somewhere in my stock. But I don't have that. And I can't get that unless we go back into the palace. Because I don't have access to fusing personas yet. But I do remember, at least from my memory, I remember from my memory, yes, that's correct me, that in the previous Persona 5, when I designed things out, I did the math and figured out that for Ryuji's next uh, hangout event, you don't need the uh, the persona on you in order to get enough points to be able to rank up the next time as well. So we can hang out with him without a chariot persona, but I have to try to get all of his responses correct. So I got to try to max out the points I get in this conversation. And I don't yeah. remember what those would be, so wish me luck. I realized when we were running through that palace, blah blah blah, yeah, you're getting tired. Spending time with the confidants. Spending time with your confidants after school or at night will deepen your trust in each other. Think carefully about who you will spend your limited time with as you progress through various palaces. I feel like my bond with Ryuji will grow stronger soon. It's your little hint that, like, yeah, this is gonna be a rank up. It's gonna take a break every so often. Do you wanna hang out with Ryuji? Yeah. Let's do some quick warm-ups before behind the gym. Wanna get going? Go get changed. Well, I'm gonna walk her around. Let me know when you're ready to leave. Let's do some quick warm-ups behind the gym. Hmm. Man, this place brings back memories. This is my secret training spot. Er, was. Back when I was on the track team. Actually, I've been thinking about trying to run again. Damn it. Fighting in that other world was a total shock. I couldn't move like I used to. I just felt lame. So I started thinking maybe I need to build up my muscles again. Anything's got to be better than this flimsy body, right? Plus, maybe then I'll be able to help out a little bit more. Uh, I'm counting on you. <laughs> so yeah, general thing you want to do is be nice to your confidants if you want them to rank up faster. It's real simple. I'm totally gonna wreck your expectations. Uh, I mean, mean that in a good way. Anyways, you act like it's only me who's gonna be doing this. You're getting in on the, you're getting in on it too. Come on, man. Well, don't look so surprised. Why'd you think I had you go and change into that? It'd be hopeless if I was the only one getting super fast, right? All right, I'm gonna do some knee lift sprints. You're stuck with the normal ones. I ran around the school through Yuji. Damn, my legs are all tight. Before Kamashita came along, the track team was the biggest thing this school had going for it. But it all changed after he got our coach fired and took over as the sub. Damn it. That bastard. Right from the very start, he was trying to get rid of us. He'd give us crazy workouts, then we couldn't when we couldn't do them, he'd add even more on top of that. Day after day was nothing but that bullshit. He was going after me especially. He knew he knew I was the kind of guy who'd fight back. <clears throat> if my time dropped even a little, he'd cuss me out. Then on top of that, 
He brought up my parents. What about them? The truth is, my mom's the only one I got. I maybe should have gone with the other one last time. All my dad did was, when he was still around was drink. Sometimes he'd even beat me or my mom. I don't know how that bastard Kamashita found out, but he told the whole damn team. And as you can guess, I lost it and hit him. It was like he wanted me to do it though. He called it an act of violence and shut the team down. Thanks to that, the other guys on the team treat me like some kind of traitor. And they ain't wrong, because of me, they all lost their shot at the championship. Do you regret it? A little bit, yes, and a little bit, no. Come on, don't ask me tough questions like that. I'm not very smart, you know? <laughs> Anyways, it doesn't matter now. That's all in the past. I'm only thinking about the future now. That's what we're gonna do. Build the future. We gotta think positive thoughts, brother. I feel like my bond with Ryuji is growing deeper. Chariot, rank two. Punk talk. If negotiations with an upbeat shadow fails, you can try again. Very useful. All right. All right. Although that's like not a guarantee. I think it's like a random chance whether or not that activates and multiple of your party members. I think maybe all of them get that. Come on, we're all warmed up, right? How about another run? By the way, you're actually pretty good at running. Not as good as me though. Holy crap, my legs are shaking. Don't collapse on your way home, man. See ya. Later. Might not have gotten as many points as I should have out of that, but we'll know the next time he wants to hang out. Hey, this is new. Sup, you get home okay? Didn't trip or anything? Man, I, I'm so out of shape. I felt like I could barely drag my damn legs up the station steps. This would have never happened back then. Ugh, I should have kept up my running. Oh, more opportunities. Mm. If if they do this more often where you have like these new conversations at the end in Royal, I imagine that gives you more chance to earn points. Probably, anyway. Uh, You alright? Yeah, they've gotten better to the point that I can actually run at least. But it brings back bad memories, so I've been kind of, of avoiding it. I'm pretty rusty, but even if it got kind of rough, I had fun. And with you here, I get some friendly competition too. Plus, we get to talk. So yeah, I'll catch you later. See ya. Extra character development. Thank you very much, Persona 5 Royal. Hey. Just because you seem to be taking school seriously don't mean I'm not keeping an eye on you. Got it? I'll know what... I'll know what's what as soon as I see your grades. Want to prove you're turning over a new leaf? Make studying your second biggest habit after breathing. Alright, calm down. What's up? Ah, uh, apologies if I overstayed my welcome. I finished a critique from work, so I'm partaking in a moment's rest. The ambiance of my favorite cafe at closing time. This perfect silence soothes my very soul. TV's on though. <laughs> well, I'll be going home then. Later, dork. Let's see, no crossword puzzle out, so I can't do that. Check the television. Next, our continuing coverage of the suspicions leveled at how the government handled the incident. Criticism of the government is on the rise, and the minister may be forced to resign. The incident drastically affected his approval rating, as evidenced by a poll conducted by this show. Mm. Huh, so he's lost popularity because of the accident. Mm. This room looks so desolate since there's nothing in here. I've got a good idea. Bring me that chair, the one in the corner. You can reach that beam on the ceiling if you stand on this chair, right? Uh it looks dirty. That's what you're worried about? Don't sweat the small stuff. Alright, let's train your body using that ceiling beam. I'll be leaving you in charge, but you'll need to train your body too. I'm going to whip you into shape, so you better be prepared. 
that's just an option you have uh training with uh, the chair and like doing some pull-ups is uh it raises your stats like you get a little bit of i think like hp i don't i can't remember if it affects your sp it's really not worth doing to be honest I mean, like, your social stuff and your your social stats and your confidants way more important to use your time with. You can get by without doing stat boosts that'll help you in palaces. Like, come on. <sighs> we thought it looked nice in here, but it looks like it, it looks a bit dead. Oh, yeah. Come to think of it, you bought some plant nutrients, right? Why don't you try using them? All right, take the bio-nutrients, my friend. Oh! These are some reasonably priced nutrients. This ought to bring a bit of life back to this plant. I get two quote unquote free points to my kindness. Yes. So it, uh, it doesn't, um, that's the word I'm looking for. It doesn't pass time, uh, but you can't do this every day. I think it's like, I want to say maybe 20 or 21 days that pass in the game. You get, uh, you can give more nutrients to your plant. And you get uh, points in your kindness. I assume the one at Central Street gives you one point. The ones we bought give you two. And eventually later in the game, you can buy some that'll give you three points in your kindness. Really smart investment. Hey! Oh yeah, you have a DVD player. Watching DVDs. Watching a DVD will cause time to pass, but various stats will increase depending on what DVD you watch. One DVD series contains several episodes. Watching one episode will fill up one DVD icon. When all icons have been filled, you have finished. Hmm. You have a DVD player, so how about renting a DVD sometime? So that's an option available to us now. Uh, watching DVDs, um, it's not something I really did a lot in Vanilla Persona 5. I think the reason why I didn't do it is because unlike some other things, namely reading, in the original Persona 5, there was not a trophy attached to it. So, it was both um, costly, because you had to pay money to rent. Two, it's not the most efficient stat raiser. And three, there was no trophy incentive. So, I don't really know a whole lot about the DVDs available, because I didn't do it very often. Alright, so, we have some time here. What do we want to do? So, there's working at the desk. There's, uh training not gonna do that we could clean the uh the store a little bit there's also reading studying hey. and he still won't let me go out so it's really a good question i don't know what we should do i'm trying to rack my brain for like what would i do in original persona 5 right now and the answer is i honestly just don't know so Screw it, I think I'm gonna study. Yo. You go ahead and use that when you wanna study. Uh, studying will cause time to pass, but will improve your knowledge. Bad weather makes it easier to focus, and studying on these days will have a greater effect. Plan accordingly to take advantage of such days. Now listen up. You won't have much time for studying when you go out into the world, so study now while you can. What do you want to do? Yeah, let's study. Make sure you close up. I'm gonna head home. Clean up the place once you're done, alright? Hey, hey! I see you're able to solve these problems rather quickly. I hope you're not just picking the easy ones. You're making some good progress. I see the wisdom in your eyes behind those glasses. Alright! Got two points. Well then. You'll tire yourself out if you keep at it for too long. You should stop for today and get some sleep. Thank you, Morgana. You'll always be there to tell me that. And on to the 20th. Ah, hey. yes! We were able to grab a seat for ourselves. You have a book you haven't finished yet. Now, now this is nice. Why don't you read that book until we get there? Let's read the Arsene one, The Great Thief. Hmm? Tonight, I will be taking the Phantom Diamond. Hmm. Ah, the legendary gentleman thief Arsene. It's hard not to idolize him. He's preeminent in our field. Hey, hey! Hmm? Oh, 
I didn't realize how long you've been reading. So, how far did you get? Seems like you still have some pages left. You should continue some other time. Oh, we're almost at the station. Yeah, it's pretty much going to be the same every time that happens. Okay, so no stat rays there. I think you get it when you finish. Oh, I spent way too much time, or too much, on new clothes this month. Now I'm broke. Guess you're getting yourself a job. Those job magazines they have at the train station are useful. Maybe I'll swing by Shibuya underground and pick up one after school. You already did that. Then again, it works for losers. I hope I find something easy. See that other future party member walking behind us? I don't think that happened in original Persona 5. I think this is a little new touch they added. Man, we need cash. Sure, but why bring that up now? Well, we can get all sorts of weapons and meds and shit now. We can't actually buy any of it without some dough. Uh, so we'll earn some. Oh, like it's that easy. Well, I'm sort of. It just magically falls out of shadows in the metaverse. We can get part-time jobs? I don't know. Do we have to? Oh, shit. Ushimaru's looking this way. Sorry, gotta drop out of chat for a sec. Bye. It's raining. If we sell the stuff we find in the palace, we can make some quick scratch for the war funds, but like Lady On said, a part-time job might be a better bet. There are job magazines at Shibuya Station, aren't there? Maybe you should pick one up. Hmm? I hate the rain. Huh, On's not here. So that's the guy everyone's been talking about. Uh, Ryuji's here. He's a piece of shit anyway. Yo. What's up, Rin? Got any big plans for today? Well, I haven't decided. Come on, man. No wonder he got expelled. Ouch. So I want to say on this day is when in original P5 I would head into the palace. I think so. So if we check every fucking time. Every... Mm, real map. We see that there are no confidants available to us. Now a decent use of our time here would actually be to go to the library. Because I believe with uh, with it raining we would get more points from studying. I believe so anyway. But I think I'm going to go with my instinct here. I think it's palace time. I'm going to go with uh, the history that I know. My gut says that on 420, we came into the palace in my original version of P5. So I'm going to stick with that. I hope you all understand that our time limit is May 2nd. We basically just have to go to that castle and steal the treasure from Kamoshida, right? But wait, what even is a treasure? I want to know that before we do anything. A treasure is the physical form of the palace ruler's distorted desires. In other words, it's the core of the palace. Once we steal it, the palace will crumble. I think. Having said all that, even I don't know what Kamoshida's treasure is going to be. And where can we find it? There's no way of knowing that until we go in and find out. But if I had to guess, I'd say he has it locked up somewhere in the depths of the palace. I think I get it now. We just gotta find the treasure, yeah? Pretty much. There's just a lot we won't know until we go in. In any case, our objective is to find the treasure's location somewhere in the palace. Make sure we go about this with time to spare so we can avoid any unforeseen circumstances. I expect great things from you guys. Before infiltrating a palace, take your progress with the hold meeting option, listen to your friend's opinions, and decide the best course of action. Selecting infiltrate a palace, or infiltrate palace, will take you to the palace. You cannot purchase items while in a palace, so be sure you're well prepared. It will be nighttime when you return from the palace. Time runs out, it's game over. Keep an eye on the time remaining. They mean the, the day times in the top right. I should so, write something. I, yeah, I should save before I go in. And leave this spot open. Just in case you never know something goes wrong. Let's go. Alright, 
I'm gonna bust loose. But damn! Hmm? What's up? Nothing. Uh, I was just thinking we should choose a code name for you, too. A code name? I'm Skull, he's Joker, and that's Mona. Judging by your costume... I mean, she's got that tail and stuff, so... What do you think? Kitty woman. Sexy cat. Cat girl. Kitty woman. Wait! Is that what you're going to call me from now on? I am so not down with this. What do you want to be called then? Um, there's something better than just a little cat. Maybe... Panther? That sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Huh? Why? Cause it sounds more... ferocious? She's a cougar. Don't call me that! More importantly, Kamoshida. Oh, right. Let's go. Alright, let's start fresh and get going. It's game time from this point forward. I'll teach you guys the basics of infiltrating a palace as we go. Here we go. My master would like a word with you. <laughs> I like how he doesn't even like turn to the others and be like, yo guys, check this out. He's just like, alright. The prisoner has returned. Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. I never asked for this. Shut your mouth and listen, inmate! <laughs> I am not attempting to withhold information from you. The essence of the rehabilitation that you must complete will be explained in due time. Once you encounter allies who share your ideals and discover your place in reality, only then will I explain it all. Such a day should not be far off. This time, I wish to introduce you to the aid we are providing. Aid? Due to your potential in wielding the power of the wild card, you can handle more than one persona. That power holds infinite possibilities. We will assist you in nurturing that potential. To that end, we must execute your persona. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. Personas are personalities that exist within you. Thus, you will only be discarding old personalities to have them be reborn as new ones. By discarding your old identity, you give way to a new one. Hence, we call that process execution. Think of it as the fusion of your personas. To start, select the first persona you wish to fuse. Alright, the most basic of basics. Fusing personas. So there is one in particular I'm looking to make, and I'm trying to remember what the combination is. Now, before you select the second persona, allow me to tell you something greatly important. Do you remember how I mentioned forming bonds with confidants? Personas are the power of the heart. The stronger those bonds, the stronger your personas will be. In other words, the effects of your bonds on execution, or fusion, if you will, are quite substantial. When you fuse a persona that shares its arcana with one of your bonds, it will gain great power. This will be a guiding principle for your forays into fusion. Try not to forget it. Moreover, there is one thing I must warn you about. You cannot create a persona that surpasses your current level. This is because the resulting persona would be too powerful for you to handle effectively. 
Now then, check the fusion results and choose a persona that suits your stature. Thank you, Igor. In fact, I think that like entire explanation by Igor once we opened this menu was not actually in Vanilla Persona 5. I don't feel as though it was. So, very cool that they added that to just make it even more clear and easy for beginners. As well as the fact that it's all voiced. Nice touch. So, I want to see what my options here are. Ah, darn it. I would love to make slime, but unfortunately I'm three levels too low. Yeah, this is a bummer. <laughs> this is a big bummer. And of course you can uh hold on. This is the form. Your new persona is expected to take after fusion. It's possible for them to inherit skills they normally wouldn't gain. These skills and specialties are distinct from one another. Skills are traits that can be passed along through fusion. Yes, and fortunately every game after what? Persona 3 Portable, maybe? No, P4G has added the feature to where you can select what you inherit rather than it being completely random like it used to be. And that was just the worst thing ever. So, because uh, we're trying to do as many confidants as possible, having the arcana of your confidants is the most important thing. Or at least to me it is. It's even more important than getting the strongest personas I can, for the most part. Like, obviously, skills and the personas you have are important, but you want to try to do both. So, ultimately, when we leave today, I want to have still have a chariot persona and a death persona since those are the two confidants i've currently unlocked that matter the fool doesn't matter because the igors will automatic throughout the entire game but tay and ryuji are manual so getting rid of uh well getting uh agatheon right now would be good for the long run but i'm wondering if i should maybe hold out Wait until I can fuse slime. Because it's not outside of the realm of possibility that I'll be able to get to level 10 and make that fusion by the end of this palace. So... Ah, uh, that doesn't help. That also doesn't help. Uh, can I fuse... Or sin? Yeah. You okay with this? I think... I think Helpy's my best bet. If I want to save Pixie and Bicorn for later... Nothing really helps me with Jack O' Lantern. Because I already have Mandrake and I already have Bicorn, so I can't make those fusions. So. It's time to say goodbye to Arsene. We're getting Kelpie. You okay with this? Select the skills you'd like to inherit. And of these four, I'm going to have to keep uh, Aha because I need the curse damage just in case we come across more things that are weak to it its power will be nothing unusual go ahead then let us begin and we should get a little cutscene here <laughs> I am Arsene the other you who exists within though I may disappear this moment I shall always be at your side we shall meet again when your fate reaches its conclusion. <laughs> Bye, Arsen. So while I am losing Mandrake, Mandrake's uh, going to be really easy to replace and cheap. Or I could just uh, acquire it through, you know, the thing. That should be easy enough. Me, Kelpie. Your heart make me. Now, me become mask. 
Actually, I'm not sure whether or not I get access to the compendium right away. I can't remember if you do in P5. Ah, how impressive. A stronger persona has been born from the body and blood of the old. It shall be your new strength. What do you mean? Its worth will be made clearer when you return to the field of battle. Gather personas and bring them here. Gather a great many, execute them, and continue to give birth to even stronger personas. Developing your powers as such will play an integral role in the stand against Ruin. So that your rehabilitation goes well, we have a variety of rituals to choose in regard to executions. And depending on the effort you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. Your heart is steadily gaining the strength of rebellion. It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. A joyous fact indeed. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. I hope that you shall accept it. I feel a deep in connection with Igor. Alright, third eye. See things normally invisible to the naked eye by pressing L2. All right. You now use the Confidant ability Third Eye. Activating Third Eye in both the real world and in the metaverse lets you see things normally hidden. Use Third Eye to reveal various hints. That is a thief's skill, allowing one to tap into their sixth sense and see what is hidden in the dark. I believe you can handle it now. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requests, we will heed them. Persona Fusion, Confidence in Fusion, and Skill Inheritance have been added to the tutorials regarding Fusion. Do you have business with me? All right, register and summon. You'd like to read the compendium? So... Yeah, right here. thank goodness that uh, you get instant access to uh, the Persona Compendium. I think in past games, like what, P3, they, they're like, nah, you gotta wait a month. Fuck off. But this game, you can get them right away. So you can see I just buy back Arsene. Though, obviously, this costs money. Though these right here, these are your DLC Personas. And I imagine I have several of them, probably. I have all of them or is it only the ones I paid for I think it's all of them yeah I want to say anyway that hello 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 new arcanas that I didn't know the name of just yet faith and counselor I wonder who those correspond to I didn't know like obviously I knew they were going to be but I didn't know what their arcanas were called now I do how interesting. And neither of them's the uh, the Eon one. Interesting. So they didn't they didn't use it again. Unlike P3 Fest and P4G. Interesting. But yes, uh, obviously we have our DLC personas. I believe the way it works, the way it used to work anyway, is that they're free the first time. You since you paid real life money for them, it's like, yeah, of course you can get instant access to your DLC. That you paid for. But after you take it out of the compendium once, it becomes a regular persona in your compendium. And then you have to pay in-game money to take them out of the compendium any time thereafter. I'm not going to touch them. I mean, it's within the rules of the game. But as you can see, they come out at really high levels to start the game. So you can super cheese the game as if it weren't easy enough. I could just pull out a level 69 persona right now. There might even be a higher one among them. I'm not sure. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. That's, that's cheating in my eyes. I'll also, I'll even try to avoid touching them whatsoever. Um, I think there are some weird mechanics in the original where, uh, I want to say, like, once you bought certain personas as DLC, it would kind of change, like, the fusion table that's available to you. And it would, like, if you had the DLC on your account, it might change, like, Normally, you would get this persona if you fuse these two, but now that you own the DLC, you can get it using the DLC persona or whatever. 
It was really confusing. <sighs> so I'll, I'll try to avoid even doing that. Maybe, maybe if there's anything I'll consult outside of the game, it might be fusion tables. Maybe. Are you finished? What? Uh, I still have business. I want to poke around the cell. Think you can sit on the toilet? Yeah, you sure can. How very Catherine-esque. Mm -hmm. You look pretty relaxed despite your situation. I suppose I, I can answer any questions you may have. Oh, that's right. This is how you do the tutorials for the velvet room functions. Can I get on the bed? I can. What was that? What are you doing, inmate? You don't have time to be lying around. I feel like I can hear a voice coming from somewhere. Yeah, it's a little hidden function there. And then you could talk to it's Caroline me. and Justine. Sometimes. Sometimes you can talk to them. I think later in the game, talking to them is certain. a bit more possible. Time for some rehabilitation. And all we got is basic fusions. Okay, because so that does it here in the velvet room. What? Bye. No slacking off. Something wrong? You were just standing around all of a sudden. Yeah. To my teammates, it looked like I wasn't moving, so it's not like I even went anywhere to them. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. We're what? counting on you, Joker. Just don't explain it to them at all. So, where do we start? Let's head to the safe room we found last time. It's in the first floor of the West Building. It's pretty close to our usual entrance. It should be a pretty decent starting point. Safe room? It'll make sense when you see it. Well, let's head out. Thank goodness. You can have quick travel. Bring up the map with R1 and select a previously visited safe room to go there instantly. You can also quick travel from a safe room back to the palace entrance. Quick travel can only be used in these two locations. The Thieves Guild. You can receive aid from allies via the Thieves Guild. This is available when infiltrating the metaverse while connected online. You can only request help a limited number of times and the Thieves Guild will be able to help you out a, out of a variety of desperate situations. There are no downsides to receiving aid, so be sure you use it proactively if you find yourself in trouble. I vaguely remember what that feature looks like. I think I've only seen it like a couple times. So, for the most part, we can ignore it. Oh. Cool. Was this always the case that you had your little, uh, useful consumables that you can craft on a quick menu like this? I don't remember. Let's go to R1 and head to... Uh, you see that the underground area still exists, which is like the very first place of the, of the palace, but there's no point to go there. We want to go here. What's up with this place? It's a gap in the cognition, a safe room, if you will. Yeah, still not getting it. Right? Well. I'm fuzzy on the details, but I think it's some kind of spot where shadows can't find us. Huh, I didn't think a palace a place like that existed in here. So, what do we do in this safe room? Take a break, duh. Oh, and uh, we talk about stuff too. So the place is for resting up and plotting. Got it. Guess I'll rest for a bit too then. Let me know when you're ready to head out, Joker. Consulting with your team. In a safe room, you will be able to consult with your team members at the center table. Did they explain this already? By choosing talk, you will be able to chat with your team members about your progress through the palace as well as check on your party. Oh. 
Hey, oh, thank you very much, Morgana. An SP item, how kind. You can only use it in safe places. Oh, but when you do, it'll take care of all the exhaustion from our past fights. I wonder how good it is. Uh, safe room healing items. Some safer, some items such as healing IV or is it four? It must be IV. Can only be used in safe rooms. You can uh, use these items after you enter a safe room and select consult. The area where you can use these items, the areas, is limited. So, however, they will greatly heal your party, so use them in emergency situations. Well, what are you gonna do, Joker? Talk to the team. What do you want to talk about? Uh, how is everyone? I'm on board. I can totally keep going. Looks like everyone else is good to go, too. Why would I need to know your statuses? Your this isn't Persona 3. Hey, you think the treasure's far? Uh, this is just like general stuff about like how far you are. Uh, no, I don't need to hear details about shadows. Come on, items to heal. What are your thoughts? Okay, to you exploring. Shall we go? Let me look at items. I want to see how good that one he gave me is. 20% SP to all allies. I don't think he gave you this in original Persona 5. That's a really good item. And it's going to make what we're trying to do here that much easier. Because uh, getting through the entire palace today is hard. It is not a simple task. I should write something. So let's save here. Time to go out. Ready? Finally, progress. Now then. We have no idea what awaits us ahead. Here, you better take these. These fine tools have my seal of approval. Use them wisely, alright? Thief Assist. Press square while investigating the metaverse to use Thief Assist, giving you access to multiple helpful functions that will aid your progress. Auto Recovery uses your party's healing seals on all party members. Be aware that doing this consumes the required amount of SP. You can also use infiltration tools such as smoke screens to quickly flee a battle. These tools will give you an advantage during fights. Focus. So do I still not have... I guess I don't. I still don't have the ability to, uh, to go full stealth. Damn it! That wasn't a sneak attack. You weak hmm. So fire is its weak point. Yeah. Come on, let me get beat it. Skull, give me more. Let's do this. Augie. Fire on the floor. Just stay You're there. The best panther. Lend me your power. What do you think? Uh. All right. <laughs> Uh, I'll take responsibility. If it pleases you. Nice. Alright, got my mandrake back. Did I screw that up? Could I have gotten it automatically had I taken the first one? I don't remember. If I uh, try to negotiate with one I already have again, I'll give it a try. Why is my percentage up? That's weird. What the hell? I left the palace with it being at zero. I guess it, story reasons, it automatically went up. Holy shit. Isn't that where I came from? That guy just spawned out of nowhere. Show me your true form. That's more like it. Nice. Nice work. Now that I think about it, getting through here in one day is going to be a lot easier thanks to the gun change. Okay. I have so That's much more firepower me. on me. 
that I don't need to use skills nearly as often as I did in vanilla P5. That's a huge game changer. Got some onyx. Let's see, there's a jump down. There we go. This. There we go. Shackles. Uh oh. I don't know. I want to try to get you turned around. There you go. Go that way, buddy. Show me your true form. Got him. Take that. Crit. All right, let's negotiate for money. Oh, no, wait. I just hit a lot attack. Oops. Well, we get this. That works out. That's fine. Okay. That's all it takes for me. All right. Well, when we pick up next time, we'll continue going through the palace. We're having fun here. Hopefully, well, yeah, this is probably going to be a really long tre trek. Like, the, the, the palaces take a long time. So we're going to be in here all, in a while, but uh, hopefully it goes smoothly. And we won't, I won't get embarrassed too much. See you guys in the next one.